Hello, it's Stacy with As a Tea Brews. Today I thought we would do a teas we drink in a day. Um, this version is going to include lots of honey and soothing teas because we've got two people who are sick in the house. And um, so I've already made tea for two of them and I will probably be drinking some tea also. I'll be doing some work around the house and I thought it would be a great day to share some of the teas that we're drinking right now. Um, so first I made Ellie a cup of this pumpkin pie chai from Old Barrel Tea Company. So I added some of this hollow tree honey, which is um, a raw honey from a local area. And she is really enjoying that right now. She is still drinking it. And then my husband asked for another cup of this medicine ball tea that I shared in a short a while back. Um, but this tea was sent out with Old Barrel Tea Company's, um, one of their emails. And I kind of abbreviated it here, but basically it's white peach tea with lavender sage lemonade tea. And I have a blend of it from one of their monthly um, subscriptions here and uh, peppermint. And this peppermint happens to have yerba mate in it also. And so I'm just using these two blends and you put a generous spoonful of each of those teas. I think the recipe calls for like two teaspoons of each of the three teas, the peppermint, white peach and lavender sage lemonade. Um, but I just kind of, you know, added a couple good spoonfuls there. And then I added a nice generous scoop of the orange blossom honey from Old Barrel Tea Company. And he had this the other day and he enjoyed it a lot. So I just made it for him again and I'm about to deliver it. And I will be back later to show you what else we drink. Okay, so I have pulled up my St. Patrick's Day decoration box. Mm -hmm and I am going to pack up all my St. Patrick's Day stuff and get out some spring and Easter things. So I'm gonna be taking everything off of my coffee and tea bar to, um, to redecorate it and clean it up. And while I'm working, I am going to have, I haven't had this one in a little while, Magic Hour Heart Chakra Tea Blend, Happy Heart. And this is a green tea and it has almonds and I think it has like vanilla. Um, let me see. It's uh, organic moringa, organic green tea, organic almond slices, organic ceremonial matcha and natural flavors. And so I'm going to steep this one for just two minutes and I have my water warmed up already. So I'm gonna go grab that. So my water's heated to 176 degrees, I think, or 175. And I'm just going to add some water to my little Kinto teapot and I'll let that steep. Okay, it's been two minutes and my tea is ready. So I'm just pouring it into this clear textured teacup slash mug that I found at TJ Maxx and it just makes me happy. So here it is. Still working on putting away decorations and I'm about to get out some spring stuff. I think I have too many different colors going on in my tea hutch right now. I'll have to show that to you guys later, but I guess it's kind of fun for Easter and spring to have a lot of um, colors going at once. So right now I'm going to have, and that, by the way, I did really, really enjoy that green tea happy heart from uh, Magic Hour. And I finished that one. And as I was pulling out different teacups and stuff, I decided I'd use one of these cute little teacups that I have. I think this is from T2. Yeah, T2. And I have this little clear um, tea at hand teapot from Magic Hour. And I'm brewing up a classic for me, um, one of my favorites, white tea, cranberry orange scone from the Necessities. So I'll brew this, I think for three minutes at 185 degrees. And the reason I decided to use this teapot instead of my Kinto one is because I wasn't sure, this is a smaller teacup and I wasn't sure how much I could fit in there. And I didn't want the tea leaves to oversteep. So I just picked a teapot that I could pull out the um, strainer from. And I have a ton of those <laughs> type of teapots, but I went with the clear one for today. And this might get close to fitting into that teacup because it is fairly large, but I didn't want to take any chances. 
So I was actually only able to fit about half of the tea into my teacup. I fit way less than I thought I would. Um, so I made the right choice using a removable basket teapot. I will enjoy this and be back in a bit. Okay, it's time for some more tea and my husband wants some more of the medicine ball tea or Old Barrel Tea Company's version of it. So this, these tins and this tea are kind of hard to scoop out of. I'm just going to dump some in here. Oops, I just cleaned my mat and I'm spilling the tea leaves on it. Okay. So this is the white peach and lavender sage lemonade from Old Barrel Tea Company. And then I will also add in some peppermint and yerba mate. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and have this tea as well, just the um, peppermint and yerba mate. And I'm going to steep both of these at 185 degrees. Um, for five minutes. So I know I was doing the medicine ball for five minutes, but I had to check the uh, the tin for the just the peppermint and yerba mate and see what that was. So I'm going to get my water and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, I actually, I asked um, Ellie if she wanted tea also. So I'm making her some apple empanada. It's a honey bush tea from Old Barrel Tea Company. And I am, my time is up, it's been five minutes. So I'm going to pull out all the tea leaves and add honey to a couple of these. So mine, I am just going to leave as is. I'm not going to add honey, but to theirs, I'm going to add a generous scoop of honey so that kind of helps soothe their throats. I'm running out of space here for all these teacups and tea leaves. Okay, so uh, again, I'm using Orange Blossom Honey from Old Barrel Tea Company, and I'll put a nice size scoop into each one of them. And that is it for this time. So uh, yeah, we've had a lot of Old Barrel Tea Company tea today, but also a couple other things as well. It is only noon. <laughs> that is how today is going. It's we we're we're gonna be drinking a lot of tea. I feel like it's just soothing, comforting, healthy, and um, it's just one of those days, one of those tea days. When do you find yourself having the most cups of tea? Is it like when you're sick? Is it when you're hanging out at home? When you're busy at work? Um, or on the go? When do you find yourself gravitating towards the most amount of tea? So my plans were to have this blooming tea flower um, after I ran some errands. I completely forgot that Abby had tennis and so we ended up just getting really busy and we went to tennis and everybody wanted to have popcorn and watch a movie. But here is a quick look at my tea bar that I redecorated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video seeing what we had to drink today tea wise and um, we'll see you in the next video. Leave me a comment below. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.